Are you having trouble contouring? You feel like you've watched all the videos. You got the product. It's supposed to be good. You think you've got your spots right. You've got your cheekbones. You've got around your hairline, the sides of your nose, around your jawline. But you come out looking like this. What's going on? So, what is the difference between looking like this and not looking like this? To be honest with you, it's it's some to do with the color, but it's mostly to do with the application and the blending. So here is a trick. First of all, in places, smaller areas like under your cheekbones or the sides of the nose or something, you want to make sure you're using a skinnier brush that fits that area. If you have a thicker brush, you're going to have a thicker line. You don't want that. So, you know, you want to use a skinnier brush that'll fit in there. Same thing for the sides of your nose. You don't want to put this like this on the sides of your nose to place your initial product. You brush. Even a fluffy, um, a fluffy eyeshadow brush will work for like the sides of your nose if you're going wild like that. Now around your hairline, you can go a little bit thicker. You don't have to have like a skinny brush for that. But the other thing I want to show you is this works for eyeshadow too. When you're holding your brush, if you hold close to the ferrule, which is basically up at the top by the brush, you're more you have more control. Kind of like when you're writing and you're you know with your pencil, you can control where things are. It's great to have control sometimes. Like if you're on your eyelid, I would have my 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 brush there and it's good to be up to the top so you can pat the lid color in but when you're doing something that you want it to look natural blended and the colors dispersed um, it, it helps actually to hold further back um, it helps you have less control it helps you apply with a lighter hand the other thing I do is I always if I get product I always tap off the excess and you want to put the darker colors for contouring like toward the black, the, the black, toward the back so you can blend it out. Okay. okay. If you make a mess of yourself, one other thing you can do, take your fluffy brush, start to blend the heck out of your face. Bring it back in your ears too if you go, if you have to. You don't want your ears a different color than everything else. Guys, so if you still don't get where you want with your blending um, and you really can't fix it, go ahead and dust back over some of the areas with powder. It'll help blend things out as well. Um, one thing I do when I contour to blend out this line, if I'm using my bronzer, you get half and half. half the product is like a shimmery, there's a little shimmer to it, and the other half is a darker, dark, is darker in pigment. So I use the darker in pigment side to do all those places that I just showed you, and I use the shimmery side, which is a little bit lighter, as a transition shade, basically right on my cheekbones where I would put my blush. I go ahead and put that there and that way you're going like instead of going from dark to the light your lightest colors of your under eye you are got like a little more of a gradient dark medium light um, or if you aren't using bronzer um, let's say you're using this pigment or even if you are using bronzer and you want to combine a blush with it that's another option this is sweet so you don't have to look like a crazy and you don't have to be scared. And you can mess up because most everything with makeup is fixable. And actually it all is, let's be real. You can get a makeup wipe if you have to. Your brush. But hopefully the brushes matter. And so does the application, sometimes more than the color. Um, okay, <laughs> talk to you later, bye guys.